All right, I'm just going to walk you through some of the gestures you can use in the iPad version of Photo. So these gestures just generally help for workflow and productivity. Now, basic panning and zooming. You can pinch in and pinch out to zoom in and zoom out of your document. Now to pan round, when you have the view tool selected, which is the hand icon here, you can just use a single finger to pan, like so. When you have another tool selected, say if you have the paintbrush tool selected, then a single finger drag will actually apply that tool, which is not what you want. So in this case, you need to use a two finger drag to pan, like so. So this brings us to the next gesture, which is a double tap. So let's say you zoom in to a particular point and then you want to zoom straight out to fit the entire document on the screen. Well, all you need to do is double tap with two fingers like so. And then at any point, you can double tap again with two fingers on any point of the canvas and it will jump back to that zoom level you had set previously. So it's a way of toggling between fit to screen and the current zoom level. Okay, so next up then is multiple layer selection. Now on the desktop version, you can usually shift click to select multiple layers. In order to replicate this behavior on iPad, all you need to do is either swipe left or swipe right with a finger to select each layer in turn. So for example, I could swipe to deselect the background pixel layer and because I've got these three layers selected, I can hide them all at the same time, like so. And then I can just deselect layers by swiping them again. Okay, now we have some contextual options that show up depending on which persona we're in. So for example, let's say I have a logo here and I'll just bring out the Layers Studio to confirm this. Now in the Photo Persona, we have, if we two finger tap once on the canvas, some layer options, duplicate, delete, cut, copy, and paste. So we can duplicate that current image layer, then switch across to the Move tool and transform it. Then we can two finger tap to duplicate again, and once again, transform it. Okay, so let's take a look at how these options differ when we're in the Selections Persona. Now, if I move across to the Selection Persona up here, and let's just select the Flood Selection tool and create a selection of the sky. Now, if I two-finger tap on the canvas, I have Select All, Deselect, Reselect, and Invert Selection. So, I could choose Invert Selection, therefore I select the actual architecture and not the sky, and at any point I can tap again to deselect, and of course tap again to reselect. Okay, so there we go. A quick overview of some of the gestures you can use in Photo to enhance and speed up your workflow. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out the other video tutorials.